What is up, Queen Mafia family? And I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about my labor and delivery. So, I'm going to start off with labor because labor come before delivery. Labor. I was in labor for, let's I say 13 hours, but let me be sure because I was in labor since 2 at night to till he came so it's at the at night time I was in labor so I, it felt like it hurted like a pain it didn't go away it didn't hurt but it wasn't that bad it was just like mm, it didn't go away um you know I, I slept through it I wake up I go to sleep no <laughs> wake up then I go to sleep, then wake up, then go to sleep. It just kept me up, really, basically. Then, um, in the morning time, not real. Morning time, it got worse. Like, I was literally screaming. I was like, ah. <laughs> Excuse my face, but that's how it was. <laughs> My boyfriend took my. Oh, um, mind over matter. It's probably another um false. Uh, another false one. Like, cause before labor really happened, my stomach really used to be hurting, and it's be the same thing. But this time, I knew something was wrong. I really did do something was wrong. So, got worse, got worse. Called the doctor. And the doctor said, go in the bathroom. Oh, it's probably just, you know, false, just like he said. Um, I went in the bathtub. It did not work. It did not work. It hurt it so bad. Put my on the down. Put music's going or mucus plug, sorry. I was like, Ugh. Took, went in the bath anyways. Um, warm water, went in the bath. They helped a little bit, but you know, help. So after I got through with the bath, I put my clothes on from the line, and then my pants got wet. But it was not my water breaking. It was not. Um, just kept getting wet, so I changed and uh, my pants is wet again. It's like bumping it. I don't even care, but I'm keeping getting wet because my feet keep changing clothes. I lay down, um, tried to go to sleep. What does it look like for probably 10 minutes? Woke up, tried to just. So, when contraction comes, it's like, you know, because it starts up slow, like, then it goes, like, and it's like every, then it starts going like every two minutes. And then it gets get worse and worse and worse. Um. Then I finally went to the hospital. When I was there, I was dilated seven to eight. Cause I had to stay there, you know, to you nine. So um, I wasn't even there for that long. Like it was that quick. They told me to you know take my clothes off, everything. Um, Sign some papers. I could barely sign them. It was crazy. Like I could barely. I was like, I don't know if I was signing my name right. They were just like, hurry up, go through the dresses, go through them, go through them. Lady put the needle on my arm right here. She couldn't find one, so she did it right here. That's my arm. Really bad. Um, 
it was a good tracking comment when she was putting the needle on, but I knew not to move my arm. So that didn't mess it up. She just did because it was a bruise right here. Probably because I'm like my lightness. So, but anyways, yeah. Um, yeah. And then came back in and um, she put her fingers in me, you know, just to see how long I was it. She was like, oh, baby's coming. Nine, nine. It was like, that fast, that fast. She was like, time to deliver. And I was like, like I just went out. Like, I didn't know what to do. I was screaming, crying. Doctor came in. It was time to deliver that baby. I was like, oh my god. Um, they were in the room on the side. The sister was on my head. I, I couldn't think straight. Like, I wasn't even thinking about having him. I was in another world. So, they put my leg up and it was like, push. And I wasn't pushing. I was screaming instead of pushing. It was like you gotta push all of that, all of that you use it for screaming, push. I was like, I'm pushing, but you know, like me screaming, you know. So eventually, like five times, they told me that, and I was like, okay. Closed my mouth. They was like, close your mouth. Well, this was like, close your mouth. So I closed my mouth. <clears throat> push. Oh my god, when I pushed, I felt like I was going to die, bro. That, oh my god, no. It just felt so tight and it hurt it so bad. But it got worse. He was like right there. Then, like four or five more pushes, he came out. His head came out and he was like, Stop pushing, stop pushing. I was like, I can't stop pushing. I can't. So his whole body came up. Thank God they caught him because I could not stop pushing when his head came up. So, um, I pushed. He came up at three o'clock on a dime. It was like, You did so good. It was like, mm, I gave y'all hell, huh? <laughs> And I know this leg, this leg right here was kicking him like this leg because it could not stay balanced because I was trying to close my legs. So, yeah. Yeah, mama had to do all that for you. He came out. I thought the day was going to be over. You know why I wasn't over? Because the placenta had to come out. I was, he was like, push. I'm like, push, what? I'm having twins, so why I'm pushing? And he was like, I got the 10 percent And I was like, oh, okay, 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 okay. That was cool, you know, that was cool. I just wanted to be left alone after that. Okay, I'm gonna be truthful to you. Your girl ripped. She ripped. I don't know how I looked it, but he said it was kind of bad, but it hurt like, um, the beginning, it didn't hurt. I wasn't even, you know, I didn't feel it at all. But when he got to the end, I really felt it. And I thought I was done, you know, because he was at the end. And he had to do it again and again and again so it could be tight. I was, and he kept saying, oh, we almost done. And he didn't ask him again. And he said 10 minutes. And Max him again. And he said another 10 minutes. And I got so worked up. I was started crying. I, I cannot hold my tears. I just started crying. Um, it was that's what hurted me. Them stitches, it really did hurt. Then um, after that, had to clean me down here. You know all that. I take all that stuff. I didn't. When he came out, I didn't open the looking down so I couldn't see him. And then come out. I didn't see my placenta. I wanted to though. They said it was hairy and bloody. And, um, I held him. 
and when he came out and fed him the first bottle and I think that's really it really what else let's see mm. oh like I was saying they switched me to different rooms after they cleaned me put me in the wheelchair those bumps in those hospitals that's like by the door they hurt when you go over them and you go in the elevator and if I oh I had a dream that I was having him all over again and I was like oh my god I was so happy and then I was like when it came to having to push another baby out I was like oh my god I don't want to go to this dude because the pain hurts so bad it really do hurt and <laughs> I thought like females be lying like when they you know like over exaggerating when they say believe it really hurts and um you know pregnancy hurts but some people say I hurt a lot nowadays you know it's not that bad but it is that bad like really people that never had babies want to know that how it feels so you know but having his big old head hurt it you know like, really. So, yeah. What I do it again? Not now. No, baby. I cannot do that again. If I had to, well, if I had to repeat it, I don't even know if I could do it this. Whew. That was a lot of work. That was literally a lot of work. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought I was a nip and die. Whew. Yeah. But yeah, hope y'all liked it. This little video of um my deliver labor and delivery <coughs> story time.